Okay, so uh, let's finish up this experiment. So we've been trying to find the density of this um, um, irregularly shaped object. So this spigot from the chemistry sink. So you guys can see this metal piece. Mm -hmm. um, we weighed it earlier and we got a mass of 41.80 grams. Of course, that's four significant figures, right? And then we did that volume displacement. If you recall, we dropped it in a graduated cylinder and then the water level rose in the graduated cylinder and then we uh, calculated what the actual volume of the object was. So now, let's go ahead and um, finish up the last piece of experimental data. So all we're going to do is figure out what the density is, because that was the whole point of the experiment. So density, of course, remember, equals mass divided by volume. Okay? And we've got the mass of the irregularly shaped object. We've got the volume of it. So it's a simple just plug and chug, right? So 41.80 grams 5.1 cubic centimeters. So this, because we got four sig figs, two sig figs, this should be two sig figs, right? Okay, so let's do this together. 41.80 divided by 5.1 equals 8.2 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so that's how to figure out what the density of an irregularly shaped object is in the act and actually doing it in the laboratory. Okay? Any questions on that stuff? Okay, pretty straightforward.